speaking of sinking, sinking ships, the biggest loser is in politics. Lost again yesterday. Stacey Abrams, Beta O'Rourke, and Charlie Crist. They all tanked in major state races for their second, third, and fourth times, respectively. Crist is now the only politician to lose in Florida as a Democrat, a Republican, and as an independent. <laughs> Are these three clowns finished in politics, or will they do us all a favor and lose again in 2024? Joining me now, comedian and host of Fox Across America on Fox News Radio, Jimmy Fallon in the house. Jimmy. Woo! Um, so, of these three, like this is this is the podium of losers. <laughs> who gets bronze, silver, and gold? Well, I will tell you why Abrams lost the worst because she needed to keep it close enough that she could claim it was stolen and keep making money, writing yeah. romance novels. You know she's written eight romance novels? Oh, God. In the first one, they actually vote to separate, but the woman doesn't accept the results of the election, so they go through eight more <laughs> romance novels. No, it's stupid. She loses the most because her grift is out. Beto, in a weird way, okay, is a winner because I don't think, I think we're misreading him. We think he wants to be in government, yeah. but he secretly wants to be the number one fashion brand in South America. And he's sneaking up on everybody with all the merch that he has sent down to Honduras. You got Beto for Senate, Beto for President, Beto for Governor. Yeah. I think Beto for County Executive is going to crush in next year in Honduras. Yeah, so when the Atlanta Falcons lost the Super Bowl in 2017, yeah. they're Atlanta Falcons. They're all down there. World champions. Yeah. That's, he's got Atlanta Falcons <laughs> world champions. You've got a President <laughs> Hillary sweatshirt. It's oh. all there, okay? Beto is the number one outfitter in Honduras. So give him that. Charlie Crist, in a weird way, is a winner because DeSantis is going to become... Because he actually can be used as luggage. <laughs> like, he's <laughs> he so leathery, you can use him as a handsome valise when it you is get on a plane. fascinating. He does. He looks like a Canal Street handbag. Mm -hmm. You know, which, by the way, if you're shopping, ladies, it's not coach. It's assistant coach. It's a knockoff. You should know that. <laughs> uh, but I actually think, in a weird way, he's a winner because DeSantis will become president and Crist will run again for governor. Look, Look at that. We have the podium. They've all got little medals. Bum, There's Beto. Bum, like, I'm bum, getting bum, my teeth bum, done. Bum, bum. My name's Beto. Listen. I'm a Latino. And then Stacey Abrams like, I was robbed <laughs> of your dignity. Yes, listen, that is this, true. this might be the Charlie one. Charlie Chris, like, hello. This is the one. I've time. got love handles and a handle for my baggage in the back. I love him, but he is going to run for governor again when DeSantis becomes president. He'll switch back to be a Republican. They won't buy it, but I mean, what no, a loser! No, absolutely. Not. What a loser! There's just so, so does, many does losers. Beto I mean, I could see all three of these ding dongs running for president in 2024. Like, what I really need to do is run for president again. Listen, the field is. That could be any one of them. That's not a. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a good impression of all of them. Yeah. If they had an electoral human centipede, which I know is a highbrow reference for the show, I don't mean to bring up such a classy <laughs> film on this program. But, uh. Rosebud! Yeah. <laughs> but there is going to be a market for all of them because this yeah. whole idea of, like, Biden, did you see the whole thing, like, 60% of America, 66% of voters don't want Biden running in 2024, but 100% of sign language interpreters don't want Biden running in 2024 because they've got to make up signs for all the fake words. He's like, and then up for no. 1625, <laughs> Joe Biden is the only president in history that's ever made a sign language interpreter shrug. <laughs> He's like, oh, you got me. I got, I got nothing yeah, for that Yeah, it's like one. the guy from Nelson Mandela's funeral is like, <laughs> like, like, it's just, it's like, you know, the Napoleon Dynamite scene when he's in the chorus? <laughs> That's the Biden interpreters now. They're just doing Napoleon stuff. Yeah. So there's the answer. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Yeah, That's well, you know, if, if Pedro were on the ballot as a Republican, he might not have won last that was... <laughs> It was a rough one, man. But I, listen, really quick, I don't mean to get off track. No, we have five seconds. Okay, really quick. I love you. The best favorite show ever. Yay, best show I... ever! I said it just the way you wrote it down. In case of emergency, she makes There's me read the card. $100, and he's going to kiss Randy Weingarten. Someone has so to. So hot. 